Hey guys, it's Kid again. Welcome back to more Thieve of Thieves. Last time we helped Chip with a little problem in this episode. We are going to continue on with the adventure. Let's go ahead, use this, and get this started. What do we see? Oh. Huh. That's pretty cool, I guess. Huh. Just kind of hoping that that would do something useful for me, but apparently not. Oh! Gave me an achievement, though, it seems. It would be real easy to get used to things like these. Hmm. Yep. Seems so. Now, what's this thing, though? Need to get closer. These remind me of the library lions in New York. These are a little older, though. Indeed they are. But let me think, though. What else can we do? Because we already tried talking to that guy. Oh? What's this? Hmm. I suppose. Yeah, because we already talked to Connor. We already looked at this painting. I'm just trying to think of, like, what else we can do. I guess we could talk yes, to you. Yeah. I had a little chat with Redmond. I know he's behind this whole thing. Oh? Oh, I trust you shall keep this to yourself for now, yes? Of course. Oh, but why didn't you tell me? Or the others? I am merrily following his wishes. Oh. If others knew, it might be confusing. A distraction. I see. It is also not relevant for now. Here, I am the boss. That's true. I get it. Just not a fan of being played. I hope that trust remains. Yeah, don't worry. We're cool. Well, that's good. I am glad. <laughs> what else can we talk about? Where did you learn to cook like that? Did your mom teach you? Oh? Oh, I wish I could say it was my mother. But instead, it was the cook at the Cucchiaio Piegato. Oh. The what now? <laughs> the what now? <laughs> That's the little taverna you could hope to find on the shady side of town. Shady side of town. You yep, that sounds about right. Restaurant. For a time, yes. I learned about a great many things there. Food being just one of them. Well, that's good. So, what's with the duds? Oh. <gasps> ah. My clothes. <laughs> he didn't know what at first. Say? A gentleman should dress like a gentleman, no? That's true. But I agree true, with that statement. You know, inconspicuous? As what you would call a background man, I can afford to make an impression. That's true. True. It suits you. You do wear it well. I feel like if I say it's I silly, that, that guy would hate me. My tailor. That's good. Oh, this smells awesome. Is dinner ready? Almost. If you have something to do, there's still a little time. Still something to do? I don't have anything else to do. All right. We'll be right back. Okay, so it looks to me like we can't really do that. We've already talked to you. We've already talked to that thing. We've already tried going in here. And we've already tried calling Connor, right? Right? There's nothing else to call Connor uh, about? Hello, Celia. What's up? Yeah, nothing else. Alright. Yeah, there's no point in calling him. Tax free. Uh, but what else can we do? I mean, we've already talked to the boss. We've already talked to you. We've already talked to you. Um, we've already tried training in lockpicking. This thing is guiding me down here, but we've already examined that. Huh. I mean, what else is there really to do? Um. Right? Something here? No? Huh. I mean, let's see here. Break into Station Master, Plant Ship, Use, Safe Combo, Blackmail, Alarm Codes. Okay. But I mean, what else is there to do? 
We've already talked to you. We've already used the telescope. We've already looked at that thing. What can I do? Yes, Celia? Oh, this smells awesome. Is dinner ready? Almost. If you huh. Nope. I'm done. I'll just sit down and chill for a bit. Oh, that's all we had to do? Really? Really? That's it? Oh well, I'm done. I guess that's all I have to do. Okay. All right. Does everyone have their vermouth? Here it is to a heist well done. Let's eat. And now, a few words about the job as we enjoy our aperitivi. Thank you. There was a little bit of friction with casing the station, but nothing serious. Still, room for improvement. As for the poor station master, I do not condone unnecessary violence. We're thieves, not thugs. It was. No. If you want to work that way, go talk to Pavoni. He does not mind beating up old people. It was a bold decision from Celia to pursue the loot, although we had given up on it. And he paid off beautifully. Well, that's good. What's next? Yeah, what's next? Next, we eat. Then we will rest. But in a few weeks' time, we will be off to London. We have a rather unusual heist coming up. In addition to making money, we could also do some good. Oh, good things. Now, salute. What's next? Time for a change of scenery. So what are we going to be doing in Volume 4? Let's see. Oh? Let's just look at what we have so far. Okay. Your boss, Conrad Paulson, sent you to Italy to find Redmond, who you believe to be one Casimiro Pavoni? Yep. Bingo. At this rate, you'll crack this case by Christmas 2050. 2050. Wow, and that's mean. Pavoni was responsible for the Alpine Express heist as well as the incidents leading up to it. Yes. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Right. There is certainly some food for thought here. I see. I think we've better enough for now. Now, just extract yourself. I'll be waiting with Foxley here if something goes south. Yeah, you know, I think we're done here. Actually, I do still have some questions. She's got to get out of there. I gotta listen That's to my boss. Too bad. You really want to consider this one carefully. Why should oh? I just let Homeland Security continue from here? Because you don't have shit. All you've done is leached off my work here. That is hardly appropriate. Oof, I being think harsh. Is. Also, I think I'm going to be out of here now. My ride's waiting. Mm. I do think you were right. We're done here. Sorry for the delay. Oh. Yeah? Great. Bye bye now. <laughs> we'll be in touch. You can tell Mr. Paulson. I see. Damn it. Ah, there you are. Finally, yeah. That was exhausting. Sure, it certainly was. Don't underestimate Akita. If she gets her teeth in you, she's not letting go. I kind of noticed that. Yeah, I did too. You did good though. You should give us some room to breathe. Give us some room to breathe. That's good. Got rid That's of a you nosy mean. pest. You need some downtime before London. Downtime before that. London. London is gonna be something special. Oh, I know it will. That's good. All right, almost 10 minutes in, and we're starting on volume four, which is the last volume. Press A to continue. Volume four, Social Climber. Oh. 
I can now officially say I've been in an airplane before. And I know what that view is like. Hmm. Now where could this be? So this is it, huh? Why a step away from the villa? Indeed it is. Come on in. There is someone here you might want to meet. Oops. Okay. Someone I want to meet, huh? Hello, C. Is it my birthday? And if it is, why aren't you in thongs instead of a big cake? <laughs> How did you get here faster than I did? And you huh? were totally still at home when I called you from the airport. Thanks to our inquisitive mutual acquaintance, I had to take a private jet. Had to, huh? Had to. <laughs> Gotta take the bad with the good. All right, let us get into business, planning the next heist. All right. Get into business indeed. We've been getting quite a few achievements this episode. I mean, I got one for looking in a telescope, one for eating dinner, and now this one for starting the next volume. <laughs> Is it just me, or does this game give out achievements like candy? Hey, Shrap's online. Pretty cool. Okay. What are we gonna be doing once this thing decides to stop loading? Alright. This job is going to be a bit different. We have the chance to do something good. Oh. Also, obviously, to make some money. This will be the most huh? complex of our heights so far. We will go through the whole thing right now. I do okay. not expect you to remember all of this in one go, so don't worry. We will get back to the specifics later. Okay. The mark oh. is Humbert San John, a hedge fund manager and a pharmaceutical company CEO. One of his signature moves is acquiring rights to drugs and raising their price hundredfold. What? So he's a money thief. Or money I mooch, was basically. contacted by a patient advocacy group for a rare bone disease, to whom San John did just that. They are paying us to make San John release an essential drug, whose price he raised from eighty dollars to almost a thousand. What the fuck? So what? We break in some lab and steal the uh, formula or whatever to make the drug? It is not quite that simple. The composition of the drug is actually known. It is an old patented oh. osteoporosis drug called Protelvia. Since the patent has not expired, nobody can make a generic version of it. So, what then? Okay, what's our in? We hit him where yeah. it hurts. Wait, I got it. His hedge fund. Correct. We will take his money hostage. Then? We will make it sign off the rights to the drug, and to make a public announcement about it. This isn't really my field, but isn't that money tied in investments? You're correct. Yep. The edge fund capital is tied in investments, so he's not lying in his account. We need to get him to liquidate a part of it to invest it in something else. And you lost me. <laughs> we'll need a honeypot company for him to invest in, which requires liquidating some of his investments. We need to get an access to his account, transfer the money offshore, and squeeze him like that. Thing is, though, the bank will flag such a large transfer, so we'll need to hack the system as well. Um, or so I imagine, you know? What the hell was that, Chip? <laughs> Nerd talk? Absolutely correct, Chip. I imagine he would be. You need someone a lot more white collar for this one. Well, no, as it happens, you are the perfect team for this. There are three parts in this job. First, we need to attend St. John's investor event and tip him about the company. We will also scout the location and prepare for the intrusion later. Then, okay. we'll infiltrate the bank and their computer systems and modify them so the transfer does not get flagged. So we're going to be ending off... We break into San John's office to make the transfer from his dedicated terminal and invite him in. 
Alright, well we're gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. See you guys later. Eat bananas. What?